complex box vertical alignment is the topic and in our last class we have discussed how we can position the element uh, vertically and horizontally so this is the example of last class you can see this element is just uh, positioned to horizontally left to right means so inside this class the topic is about flexbox vertical alignment we will see how we can put the element vertically or how we can set the alignment of element to vertically for that we have instead of row we have column the column uh, value will put your element vertically now we can refresh you can see instead of horizontally or instead of in line block now it is just it have a block mode or you can see it is uh, the alignment of these elements are uh, vertically vertically means top to bottom or you can say bottom to top so we have column a reverse so I'm just going to set number here for example this number one this number two this number three and this number four now we can save and a refresh so this number one this number two this number three this number four now instead of column i want to just use here column or reverse we have a row reverse then we have column reverse now we can save so you can see we have a number one on the bottom then you have number two then you have number three and number four i'm just going to remove the reverse one control x and save now you can come here and refresh so you can see we have number one on the first one i'm just going to zoom this now you can see better this number one this number two number three number four but if you are using here column reverse and save this will change the position now you can see we have number four on the first and number one in the last so after that you can use here uh, for example justify content you can use a space between or you can see space around you can apply on this also you can save this and refresh so uh, let's just zoom out and what we can do here else what we i'm just going to add here and uh, the height for this element for example height something like 600 pixel and let's just add a width also width should be 100 percent and save now you can come here and refresh so you can see this called space around so if you are just using here space between and save now you can refresh so inside the space between the first and last element will be fixed and there will be some uh, equal space around the center element so yes friends inside this class we have learned about uh, flex direction column column reverse and you can just say uh, there is one more value for justify content so you can just put this instead of this you can put this in center but this will be vertically centered you can save and refresh now you can see it is in center the equal space from the top for the top and for the bottom but the elements are in center so you can use here a space around a space between it's up to you and the elements are aligned vertically this is just the topic and we have learned how we can uh, use flexbox to put the alignment of elements to vertically so thank you and have a nice day